Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy, the Enraged Mongoose, coming back at you again to play Dark Souls Part 7. And, uh, if I remember correctly, last we left off, we kind of met up with Andrea of Astora, the blacksmith, the one of the main characters of the game, and I kind of brought us all the way back here. Uh, I did upgrade the Estus Flask off screen. Uh, all you have to do is go down these stairs and talk to this woman who literally can't speak. You talk to her anywhere, and you ask to reinforce the Estus Flask. Uh, Estus Flask. Uh, I'm sorry if it's noisy out and you hear voices and stuff. Um, I am recording this in the dorm room, and I've mentioned that probably three or four times in this playthrough. But uh, here we go. So we're gonna go take up the stairs. We're gonna take up the automated stairs, also known as an elevator, or an actual an automated box that rises up. So let's just do that. And we're gonna skip a mini boss because I don't want to do it. Least favorite mini boss in the entire franchise. I hate him. And oh, sorry. Oh, uh, I forgot we died. So let's just. Uh, okay. Um, bum. So my humanity. And make it to the bonfire. And then we're gonna be exploring Darkroot Garden and doing a lot of leveling. And there's like this little trick you can do to screw with three or four NPCs, and you get a lot of souls, so it's definitely worth it. The thing is, we will have to gain 20,000 souls just to buy the entrance to this extra place, so we will probably fight the. Um, the bell gargoyle first. So reverse hollowing, yes. Done. Sweet. Now, we've got zero souls, ten S flasks, and we're all healed up. So we're gonna go and get rid of the bell gargoyle. And if we're lucky, we can actually summon Solaire to help us, which will save us so much time because that boss has, um, there are two enemies in that boss. It's a duel. It's like a 2v1. It just sucks. So hopefully we can make like the playing grounds better or like more even to do uh, 1v1. Or sorry, 2v2. 2v2, yeah. I would like to engage in some jolly cooperation. Took care of him. We don't have to worry about the wizard guy because we got rid of him. But we do have to worry about literally all these guys who just swamp here. Come on. Like, they're just annoying when they cluster. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan going off. I think the... It's just throttling right now. And that's all of them. Heal. That should be all of them. Okay. So I really hope Solaris Summon Sign is available, because that would make things good. They'd be, they'd be pretty dandy. Pretty solid. The only problem is, if you use the Summon Sign then you die, you he won't summon again. And that's frustrating. There it is. Okay, sweet. Night Solaire, summon. And NPCs can be summoned while your game is um while your game is off, so like while your while your Wi-Fi is off, so don't worry about it. Uh this might be a short episode because I forgot to set the timer, but don't worry about it. So traverse the light. Now we get a little cutscene. Once we move halfway across the there we go. Cutscene.
Awesome, here we go. Target, avoid the slashes. Right, and just, just wail on him. And, like, obviously, avoid his, like, damages. He also breathes fire, so do keep that in mind. And at one point, yeah, there we go. Okay, keep going. Bash, bash, bash. Get out of the way. Heal. You good? Took care of one. Is Solaire still around? Please tell me Solaire's still around. Yes, yeah, Solaire's still around. Hey! Yes, we took care of them. Oh, Solaire died. No, Solaire. Why? Don't worry, he's still around as an NPC. He didn't, like, die, die. Um, I cry. I hope he didn't die, die. That would suck. Okay. 10,000 souls. Okay. And now, let's heal quickly. Go up here. Pretty sure no one's in here yet, but we do have to go toll the bell upstairs. Doesn't seem to be anyone in there. Anyone here? Nope. Okay. Go right around this bend here. Careful not to die. Go. Ah, the gracious sound of bells. If only I could hear it with my own ears. You know, because the microphone is plugged into the laptop, and so I can't even hear the sound from the gameplay. How disconcerting. Disconcerting? Disconcerting. One of the two. There we go. Oh, this guy. Talk to this guy. He's a little weird. Why is he? Greetings. Oh, there he is. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem. Oswald of Kareem. Yep. Cometh out to confess. Yep. Purchase items. See what he's got. Purging stones. Useful. If you get cursed, it sucks. Or like it. How to explain this? Um. Yeah. It reduces curse build up and breaks curse. Kind of self-explanatory. Don't worry about this one. Homer Bone. Not bad. Useful to get out of places. Book of the Guilty Checklist of Indicated Players. Karmic Justice. Velka's Talisman. Figure out what this does. Rings. We're not going to buy anything yet, but it's like useful that he's here. And he stays here for the rest of the game, which is nice. So, um... Let's just make it over to the last bonfire, and I think we're going to level up, and that should be the end for this episode. So again, I don't know how long we've been going. It would be great if there was like a little on-clock timer, like, while I record, but it is what it is. Yeah, that was the timer I set for like five-ish minutes. So I have no idea how long this video is. Because I like started that a few minutes in. Ah, what a great day. What a great day indeed it is. Well, actually right now it's night, but you know what I meant. What a great day in the game. Level up time. Sweet. Okay, level 17 so far. Uh, vitality 16, endurance strength 16. Uh, we're gonna up our dexterity, 
and we're also going to up vitality. Sweet. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I will probably. Nah. Okay, so um, that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you got this far, you're a champ. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time on D -D 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 Dark Souls. Bye.